This morning, we're talking with Lori Cheek. She is a Kentucky native, moved to the big city of New York, and then came back home March 6th. Really, Lori, uh, that was one week before all of us at WHS 11, in particular, Great Day Live. We haven't been back, but that, that was one week before we left the station. And really, I think before things really started to become clear to so many of us, you are the founder creator of Cheek, the um, the Bluetooth dating app. You've been in a legal battle with a man who judges continuously keep saying erroneously is accusing you of stealing the idea and you keep proving, no, I did not. You've been on Shark Tank recently. CNN came knocking, asking, how in the world did you decide to make the move from the Big Apple to the Bluegrass? But you have family here. And so we're continuing the conversation you signed a one-year lease in Louisville. You still have a P.O. box and a private club membership in New York City that's on hold. So even in the flux of COVID and everything else that's happening, what does this next year look like for you? Well, I always thought I wanted to somehow get involved in the Louisville startup scene because I see it starting to blossom. I know there's tons of entrepreneurs here, and I just feel like I'd have so much to contribute if I could somehow help build the ecosystem here. So that's ultimately, ultimately my plan. I'm already trying to network somehow, which is really difficult right now to meet new people, but I do feel sort of, sort of plugged into the scene here of the small business owners, and I'm getting some introductions through them. And I, meanwhile, am thinking of a pivot to my existing app because Bluetooth connections right now in a time of distancing makes absolutely no sense. And if I don't change that, I've got another great idea that I'd love to build. I'm looking for a developer, a local developer, that would like to go half seas with me on my new idea. But it's a social networking app that will help people in times of distancing. And it's not quite like all these other apps, but it could be for friendships, for business, for dating, and just for any sort of random connections you'd like to make. That sounds interesting and intriguing. Something else that is interesting and, and intriguing is how open you have been about having to entertain yourself sometimes. <laughs> I, for one, um, I, I mean, with being a social media consumer in moderation, that's for sure, I appreciate and, and And we've had these talks on Great Day Live, just people are tired of the negativity on social media. So. Your dance party, for one, on Facebook has to be one of my favorite things in the world. I mean, I'm just talking to the viewers right now. Lori will put on some music and usually a hat. And also, I mean, and just let loose like a lot of us probably do when there are no cameras. And I mean, I just get so much joy and I, I move with you. I dance with you. Where did you get that idea? I mean, and the, the guts to share that. Well, you know, I feel very alone here. I mean, I've, I do lots of Zoom things, but it's just my way of trying to reach out and also getting people to chime in about what I'm doing. I mean, I started an anti-Zoom room on Facebook that there's now 1,300 people on, and we were having Zoom dance parties. And now that people are starting to go out a lot, the people aren't there to dance with me. So I just enjoyed that so much. I thought if nobody else is going to be here, I'm going to do it myself. Well, I love it. And you're adding, I mean, just throw some positivity out there. I mean, throw out there what you want to give back. But tell me this. I mean, we also, something on Great Day Live that a lot of guests have shared. I mean, there's a lot of negativity and challenge and, and hardship during this time. But there are also a lot of unexpected blessings. So for you, what has been the biggest blessing during this time? You know, when I was in New York and my parents are getting older, I'm not around my family. I used to come home a lot, but now I think the magic is just being being with my family. You know, I'm able to see them. They're my favorite people in the world and I get to see them almost once a week now. So that's probably been the biggest blessing, but I think sort of falling back in love with Kentucky, which I've always been super connected, but now I'm really here and I rent, I got a bike and I've started exploring the city and realizing the beauty of this place that I never, ever knew. And it's even like some of my local friends here, they're, they're telling me, thank you for, for photographing all of these beautiful things that we don't even notice. You know, I think they're taking it for granted because they've been here for so long, but there's so much beautiful nature and art and creativity, the murals and the graffiti and sculpture, just everything. So I'm fascinated by where I am right now. 
I always think it's such a benefit when somebody sees where we live with fresh eyes. I mean, you live for, I hate to make it sound this long, but a quarter of a century, 25 years is a long formative part of your life in New York City. And then to come home to Kentucky and to Louisville, I mean, you're seeing things in a whole new light. So what happens? What happens next? What do you, I mean, where, where do you see this connection that you're making, even though you've got your foot still in New York City and you've got your ideas and all of this? I mean, at heart though, Lori Cheek, what's, what's the next chapter? I mean, I've been saying my soul is still in New York, but my soul is also here too. This is my birthplace. These are my roots. And, you know, it's difficult because I'm not really that familiar with Louisville. I've not spent this kind of time here ever, but it's pretty cool. And the difficult part is so many things are closed and I'm in this hip neighborhood that sort of feels like Brooklyn when you drive into it, but I can't really get a taste of what downtown in this area is really meant to be until things open up again. And I don't know if that's gonna happen in the next 10 months, but my fingers are crossed that I really get a taste of Louisville after the pandemic. And I hope that's within the next year because otherwise I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I feel like I'm sort of dating Louisville right now. So we'll see what happens. Well, we're glad you're home for whatever length of period that is. I look forward to staying connected and then we'll have you back on when you're ready to talk about the next project. <laughs> I mean, okay. too. I would love that. I'm going to have a dance party when we get off. <laughs> <laughs> we can have a dance party here on Great Day Live. We'll have a date. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Thank you.